All right, what's going on YouTube? So we're going to do a quick video and talk about what we're going to be using for loading components for this 30-06 long range build here. Um, to start off with, uh, factory ammo has, just hasn't shot well. Um, you know, two inch group is not what I'm looking for. Tried a bunch of different stuff. Um, the best I got was a five shot group, which was some normal stuff and it was right around an inch. So we're going to get in, and these are five shots. If I shot three shot groups, these would be a lot smaller, but I want to shoot five shot groups. So we're going to get into here doing, um, uh, some load development and, um, starting off, we're going to be using brand new Lapua cases. Aren't these things a beauty? So nice. Lapua cases. We're going to be using the burger, um, 185 grain, classic ELDs, the classic hunters, really good bullet, good BC, good stuff. So that's what we're going to start off with. And then we're going to use some N55 powder from Vitavorti, some tried and true 30 odd six powder, IMR. Uh, 4064, and we will use some Shooter's World 4350. I uh, have not used that in 30 6 yet, but I've heard great stuff. And for primers, we're going to be using Large Rifle Primers BR2. It's hard to find. I thankfully have, I think, 4,000 of them. So we'll have more than enough of these to do this stuff, right? Um, and then we'll be using Horny Overall Length Gauge here with, I have a Horny Horny 30 out six case and we'll measure the uh, basically into the jam and then we'll go from there i'm not worried about feeding from the magazine in this rifle because i'm mostly probably going to be single feeding so i might see what we can get for accuracy starting there and then maybe eventually find some loads that could feed off a magazine if i wanted to um other than that the rifle is uh, so nice to shoot especially shooting suppressed um there's no recoil to this rifle which is awesome in my opinion um, a bunch of people kept asking me, is your barrel free floated? Is the action glass bedded? Yes and yes. The barrel is extremely free floated. The barrel, uh, the action is glass bed. It's like a glove. Fits really nice. Um, there is a little flex here in the stock, but I'm not putting a lot of pressure on the forend. Um, so what I did was, is actually, I went and shot one group and had a buddy, um, basically sliding a dollar bill back and forth right as I was getting ready to shoot, see how much tension and it never stopped that bill and it never touched. So that was interesting to see. Um, but yeah, so we're going to get going on hand loading. Um, they're going to be using probably some RCBS dies using their match master seating die going to be using an expander mandrel for the actual um, neck tension and go from there. So, yeah, just a real quick video, update you guys. I'm going to be doing some loading over the week and, and try to get to the range maybe this weekend. We'll see, though, just because they are cleaning all the lead out of the, the range, I guess, um, out of the out of the base. So we'll see how that goes, see how long it takes them. Um, but stay tuned. The 30 out 6 project still alive and going, and we'll get her there. All right, guys, thanks for watching, commenting, and I appreciate all the comments everybody's left. Um, I know you guys are just trying to help me. Um, it was frustrating shooting the factory stuff because it shot terrible, right? And I appreciate everybody helping. I just kept having to repeat myself. Yes, it's free flow. It's free flow. So sorry if I seem short. Um, but I appreciate everybody watching. And thanks, guys. Catch you later.